Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. So here we go again, talking about choosing signals, man. So um, this video, I'm titling it, Choosing Signals Are Not a Cheat Code. The only real choosing signal. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys the only real choosing signal when it comes to this shit. You feel me? But I wanted to touch on how choosing signals are not a cheat code. Because, you know, I got a lot of guys who, you know, they think that if you get choosing signals or you should wait for choosing signals because that makes it easier for you to get with women you understand or that it's going to be an easier time dealing with women when you just wait for the choosing signal so they're like you know don't cold approach because it cold approaching is a waste of time and you know you're going to get rejected so a lot of guys are scared to get rejected or whatever but i want to break down this whole thing, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spit some heavy game today. Like I'm, a, I, I, I'm in a good mood. So let me, let me break this shit down for you guys, right? Now, this is the thing you gotta understand about choosing signals. Choosing signals doesn't really necessarily mean that the girl is into you, right? Choosing signals is just an indicator that she might be interested. Okay, a choosing signal. Is just an indicator that she might be interested in you. Might. Okay? Big emphasis on the word might. Right? Doesn't mean she's interested in you. Just means she might be interested in you. So, what happens is, let's say you see a chick, and you, or you're at a party, whatever, you're somewhere, and let's say you see a chick checking you out, right? That means she might be interested in you. Doesn't mean she is interested in you because you're not going to know if she's interested in you until you go and approach her, until y'all start talking, until y'all start going back and forth. Because once you start talking, once you start interacting with her, then her mind might change about if she's interested in you, right? Because she could be interested in you one second, but then when you approach and you start talking to her, she may not be interested in you. And vice versa also happens, meaning that a woman could not be looking at you at all, or, or she could not be choosing you at all, or nothing. She could, you know, she don't even, she's not even paying attention to you. And then you go and approach her, and then now that you approached her and you started talking to her, now she's into you. You see what I'm saying? So it all depends. See, the thing is, a woman can choose you as you're, you know, interacting with her and all the other stuff, right? Now, another thing you have to understand is this. Why is she choosing you? Like, what is she choosing you for? Because, see, that's the thing that guys got to understand is that just because a chick is choosing doesn't necessarily mean she's choosing because she wants you in a sexual uh, manner, right? She could be choosing you because you look like the type of guy who's going to take her out and trick on her. You understand? You're going to take her out on, on you know, uh, fancy dinners and shit. You know, she's like, oh, he looks like the guy that's gonna that would do that. You know, he she may be choosing you because she thinks you, you're the type of guy who's going to pay her bills. You feel what I'm saying? So you got some of these women out here. Let's say a chick is like, you know, like a, a really hot chick. She She's bad, right? And what happens is, is that she knows what type of guys are the type of dudes who will spend a lot of money on her, you know, take her out, you know, pay her rent, do all this other shit. So she'll end up, you know, Throwing choosing signals at those guys. So those guys are like, oh shit, she's choosing me. And then he, you know, tries to make it happen. And but little does he know that she's just choosing him because she knows that she's <laughs> he's gonna end up spending a whole bunch of money on her. Another thing, too, is that a woman may a woman might choose you because she's just an attention whore. She just wants your attention. So she's choosing you because she actually wants to use you for attention. So, for example, um, I actually had a, 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 a friend I knew that did this where she, <laughs> oh, man, see, yo, women are the fucking worst. But anyway, so she like she basically um, cho she was choosing on this dude. Right. And she was basically using this dude for attention. Now, the reason why she was using him for attention was because she was like having this back and forth kind of like on again, off again, you know, being together, break up shit with her boyfriend. So what happened was, you know, 
it was one of those things. You know those people that like they break up every fucking you know three weeks and then they're back together and then they break up and they back together. So that was her situation with her man. So what happened was was that <laughs> I saw her at an event that I was at or whatever, and we chilling, we talking or whatever, and I see her, you know, sort of choosing up on this dude, right, and, you know, they talking, they flirting and all this other shit, blah, 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 right, and so, next thing you know, like, I see them, like, you know, I guess exchange numbers, I saw them pulling their phones out, whatever, whatever, so, anyway, two weeks later, I see this girl in another event, right, and so we're talking or whatever, and her phone's like blowing up or whatever, you know, because she got the, 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 the fucking sound on it. So it keeps making that little ping sound or whatever. And she's like, oh, my God, this guy, whatever. And I'm like, who the fuck is that? And she's like, yeah, you know, remember last time and blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, you know, so we're going back and forth. So I see that she's basically, and I'm looking at the messages. She showed me the messages or whatever. She didn't fuck this guy. She didn't do nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But she's trying to curb him now. You feel what I mean? Because she was just using him for attention. So she chose that nigga for attention because she was in between things with her man. You see what I'm saying? So you got to understand that when a chick is choosing you, right? There's times where she's choosing you for other things that don't particularly have to do with her wanting to be with you, right? Now, see, a lot of guys, they ask me, they say, you know, should you cold approach or should you wait for choosing signals, right? Should you cold approach or should you wait for choosing signals? See, my thing is this. I say cold approach and look for choosing signals. So don't wait for choosing signals. Look for the choosing signals. So do both. So you can cold approach and you can also look for choosing signals, Cause this is the thing. Let me let me tell you. Guys. See, I'm 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 not like against choosing signals. I don't like think like, oh fuck, choosing signals. No, choosing signals is cool. You understand what I'm saying? If a chick, if you see a chick choosing, then fucking you know, go up and approach and be like, what's up, and see what it's what it's about, right? But what I'm saying is, you know, you got some people who are like, oh, don't call the approach, don't call the approach, and the reason why they say that is because they are scared. That's it. There's no, there's no other reason, uh, as far, you know, well, they're scared, but also it's an ego thing too, but it's mainly cause they're scared. That's all that shit is like the only reason a dude don't want a cold approach is cause he is scared, period. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So this is the thing, man. And what you got to understand is this, is that cold approaching will always beat out waiting for choosing signals. I'm saying it again. Cold approaching will always be out waiting for choosing signals. So, for example, let's say me and you were in a a, a club or a bar or some shit, right? And so you said, hey, I'm going to just only talk to the girls who's throwing me choosing signals. And I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to just cold approach these chicks in here. Now, let's say there's 100 girls in the bar. Let's say there's... Three girls choosing you out of those hundred girls. And then let's say there's three girls out of those hundred girls choosing me. So we both got three girls choosing each of us. But since I'm cold approaching, let's say I talk to 90 of the hundred girls in the bar or the club or whatever, right? Who do you think is going to get more chicks? Who do you think is going to have uh, 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 you know, a uh, uh, a better probability of making shit happen with a chick. Cause no, we both got three chicks choosing, but I'm taking the initiative to interact with more women. Because remember, just because those chicks are choosing doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to actually work out. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. Just because those three girls are choosing don't mean doesn't mean you're actually going to get those three girls. Just because those three girls are choosing me doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get those three girls. Just because I cold approach uh, 90 women, and let's say out of those 90 women, I got like, you know, uh, 20 numbers. There's no guarantee that I'm going to get with all 20 of them. But see, what the, the difference between cold approach and, and waiting for choosing signals is that when you cold approach, you um, up the numbers of the women you talk to and deal with, and then therefore... What happens is, is that you up the chances of you actually getting a chick 
who's going to fuck with you. You feel what I'm saying? So you'll always get a larger number of women to deal with when you're cold approaching versus just waiting around for choosing signals. Facts every time. You know, it's, it's there's no you can't you can't even argue that. You understand what I'm saying? If I go to the park with you and I go up and, and I approach, you know, how many other girls I want to talk to or whatever, but you're sitting on the bench waiting for chicks to choose you, I'm going to beat you out every time. You feel what I'm saying? Now, let me get to this next part of, of this video that's going to break a lot of you choosing signal niggas hearts, okay? This is going to break your heart. And, and I've talked about this before, but let me let me get more into, into depth with this. And this just goes also to what I'm saying, you know, just now about the cold approach and versus just waiting for the choosing signals, right? What you guys got to understand about women is this. And this is what I'm saying. Let me let me get let me get deep deeper into this, right? So you guys really, really, really feel me. Because I need you to feel me on this, okay? What you have to understand about women is that the time when a woman will most likely stop fucking with you is at the beginning of the relationship. I'm gonna say that again. The time when a woman will most likely stop fucking with you is at the beginning of the relationship. So what does that mean? What does that mean at the beginning of the relationship? So what, is that, what that means is, is when you meet a girl at the bar and get her number, or you talk to a girl in the street and y'all exchange numbers, or you're on Tinder or Bumble and you match with a girl and... Y'all exchange numbers and set a date, right? This is the beginning of that relationship. This is the time when it's most likely she's going to stop fucking with you. Now, why is that? Why is it that when shit is just beginning, right, that she's going to stop fucking with you? Now, the reason why that it's most likely that she's going to stop fucking with you is because this is the time when you are the least familiar to her. Okay? This is the time when you are the least familiar to her. Right? So what does that mean? That means that she does not know you yet. She's not familiar with you yet. So therefore, it's easy for her to stop calling you to stop texting you, to flake on a date, because there's no thing there where she's familiar with you. So because she's not familiar with you, what happens is, is that you become another guy in the sea of guys. You understand? And this is why I tell you guys that it's a numbers game, because when you're interacting with women, you have to interact with a large number of women because a lot of the women that you interact with are going to fall off at the beginning. Most of you probably noticed this. You ever notice you get a girl's number at somewhere and you text her and or call her and she doesn't return your call and you're like, damn, why'd she give me her number? What was the, I don't get this. Why'd she give me her number? She's not going to respond to me. That's because th this is the time when you're not familiar to her. So she's just like, whatever. It doesn't matter. You understand what I'm saying? You know, you go out with a girl, let's say you go out on a date, you think everything is good on that first date, you text her or call her to try to set up a second date and she don't return your call. Why? Because she's not familiar with you yet. Because she's not familiar with you yet, she doesn't feel any attachment or allegiance to you. So it's like, who the fuck cares? You're just some other guy, right? See, now let's, let me, let, let me take this into the, to the realm of choosing and, and, and let me give you a story of something that actually happened uh, you know, with me, right? So, or let me, let me, let me say this first before I get into the story. Imagine you are at a party, right? And you see a chick choosing you. And so you go up and approach, y'all exchange numbers, and then y'all set a date for Friday, Right? Now, Friday comes and she flakes on you, right? Now, why does she flake on you? 
because she was choosing, right? So why is she flaking now? So one is because she's not really familiar with you. And two is because what happened is because a guy she was more familiar with came into the picture and wanted to see her on Friday. Now, I'm using that story to illustrate another story that actually happened with me. So there was a girl who I was messing with, right? You know, we was on some fuck buddy shit. So I probably like, you know, we must have smashed like maybe like 50 times. Like, you know, we, we was hitting, you know, getting popping, right? But what happened was <clears throat> I stopped calling her for a while. It was probably like, you know, maybe three or four months. She hit me up a few times, but it was like, you know, schedules or whatever. So maybe three, four, maybe even five months passed, right? So next thing you know, I'm just walking down the street, minding my goddamn business, right? Guess who I see walking down the street? My fuck buddy, who I haven't seen in like five months, right? So we talking, we chopping it up or whatever. So I'm like, what are you, what you doing tonight? And then she says nothing. So I said, cool, cool. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, why don't, you know what I mean? Why don't we get together and get it popping? So she was like, all right, cool. Let's make that happen. So next thing you know, nighttime comes, I go over to the, to the crib and I smash, right? Now. <laughs> This was the funny part. Her phone kept ringing. And I'm like, yo, who the fuck keep, you know, texting you like crazy like that, right? So then she's like, oh, you know, it was this guy. I was supposed to see him tonight. But, you know, I wanted to see you. So basically, she was supposed to see another nigga that night. Some new dude. That she's not familiar with. But she wanted to see me. The dude she was familiar with. Do you understand? So imagine. She was choosing. She was, imagine she was choosing that nigga. Imagine she was throwing him choosing signals. All that other shit. Right? She flakes on him. To fuck with me. See what you guys got to understand about women is this. Women would rather deal with the guy they're more familiar with because they're used to that. They're more comfortable with that dick. You feel what I'm saying? When they're dealing with a new guy, this is what happens with women. When they're dealing with a new guy, they are always worrying about if it's going to be good or not. Or, oh, I don't know if he's going to be cool or not. I don't know if I'm going to like the sex. All this other shit's going on in their head. But the guy they're familiar with, they'll go back to that dude. You understand? And I and, and side note, I talk more about this in my in my new program on a bad boy membership called How to Get a Woman to Be Loyal to You. So make sure you guys go to Bad Boy Membership to, to check that out. But anyway, but this is this is what you guys gotta understand about women. So when it when it comes to you know a chick dealing with guys, a lot of times, you know, she will be sort of iffy on the new dude but she'll be very attentive to the familiar guy so the reason why i'm saying all of this is to say this is that you could be chosen a chick could be choosing you but remember you're still the new guy so her response to you of her actually fucking with you or doing anything with you is still up in the air because you're still the new guy you're still unfamiliar to her, which means that this is the time where it's most likely that she'll stop fucking with you because it's the beginning of that relationship. So the reason why I'm saying this is if you're waiting on choosing signals, what you're doing is, is that you're lowering the amount of women that you have access to deal with. Also with knowing, with understanding the knowledge that most of these women that you deal with at the beginning are going to be fickle and flaky. 
No matter if you're if you're cold approaching or if you're waiting for choosing signals. Basically, it's like this. No matter what, no matter how you got the chick, when it's still new, chances are that it's going to fall off. This is why you need to play the numbers game. You understand? Because most of the chicks that you try to fuck with, at the beginning, it's going to fall off. You understand? Because the way women's minds work is that they're always second guessing and 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 thinking too much and all this other shit. This is why a lot of times you get flakes a lot of times at the beginning. You get chicks where you get their number and they don't call you back. All this other bullshit. So you sitting around waiting for the choosing signal. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and you're still in the same position as if you would have cold approached 10 to 15 women. It's all the same shit because it's still the beginning of the situation. It's still the beginning of the relationship. And what do we say about the beginning of the relationship? It's the time when a woman will most likely stop fucking with you. So it doesn't matter if she chose you or you went up in a cold approach. But what I'm saying is that when you cold approach, you give yourself more options to deal with. So if you cold approach, you might get eight chicks versus waiting for choosing signals. You'll get three girls. So now out of those three girls, you might not get any of them. But out of the eight chicks, you might get three. Oh my goodness. Y'all got me sweating out here and shit. But anyway. So now this is the thing. At the end of the day, you know, what 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 do we what do we learn today, man? We learned that, you know, choosing signals is an indicator that she might be interested. Also, we learned that you don't know why she's choosing you. She could choose you to be a trick. She could just choose you because she's on some attention or shit. Right? We've also learned that learned that cold approaching. Right, will always beat out waiting for choosing signals. We also learned that the time when a woman will most likely stop fucking with you is at the beginning because she's unfamiliar with you. Now, this is what I want to, to say at the end of this because I'm talking about, you know, what's the only real choosing signal? And I think my dude Miles talked about this once uh, on a live stream. He said it real quick, I don't, and I don't even think dudes caught it. So I'm going to say it here again, right? The only, the one and only real choosing signal is when a woman is spreading her legs. So you could put that dick in her. That's the only choosing signal. Truthfully. You understand what I'm saying? That's the only real choosing signal when it comes to what you want, which is the sex, is when she's laying down, spreading those legs so you could get up in that. All that other shit, all that other shit of her looking at you, smiling at you, yeah, that's that's cute, but that don't mean she gonna fuck you though. You understand? And, and, I'm t- and you know, and, and I've, I've, I've been on this so much where my thing is, what's really, what's the end uh, uh, goal? What's the end situation? You understand? Because like even when dudes talk about looks and all that other stuff, I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Like, I don't I don't give a fuck if a chick think I'm cute. Is she sucking my dick, though? You feel what I'm saying? You understand? You can think I'm cute all day, but are you sucking my dick? So you could be choosing and, and throwing choosing signals all day. But at the end of the day, are you fucking with me? Are you are you actually trying to make it happen? You see what I'm saying? That's the most important part, all right? So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, I'm out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace, I'm gone. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on 
how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step by step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com